It's the new year, 2019, and it's time to make your new year resolution. Every year, it's a tradition. People make new year resolutions all the time. There are hundreds of uh, new year resolutions that people make every year. Uh, what are those resolutions are? Quitting smoking, uh, going on a diet, treat people more nicely and respectable, uh, take your wife out more often, gentlemen, <laughs> or getting a better job or a higher paying job. There are many new year resolutions that people make every year. However, how many of you ever made a new year resolution in regards to getting rid of your diseases? Did anyone ever say, this year, I am going to get rid of my asthma? I am going to get rid of my cancer? I'm going to get rid of my multiple sclerosis, my diabetes, my lupus, etc., etc. I don't recall anyone ever making a New Year resolution in regards to getting rid of their diseases. According to Business Insider, 60% of New Year resolutions failed by February. By February, most New Year resolutions have been broken. I can tell you I've broken so many of them. I never, I never kept not one New Year resolution, not one ever. A survey was also conducted with 5,000 people. Each individual was asked, what New Year resolution were you unable to keep? Over 80% of the 5,000 responded eating healthy. That was the number one answer. The second was quitting smoking. 80% could not eat healthy and kept eating bad foods. That's about uh, 4,000 people. I did the math in my head. <laughs> Hold on a second. Uh, that, that hurt a little. That was a little painful. My Every time I use my brain, it hurts. I, I I got to reboot. Excuse me. Okay, I'm back. <laughs> I had to reboot my brain. Picture that, folks. Folks, uh, 4,000 people out of that survey had trouble getting rid of bad food and could not maintain a healthy diet. You would think that's the most easiest thing to do, right? It should be the easiest thing in the world to do. Why is it difficult? for so many people to abstain from certain bad foods. What's the problem? What could be the problem? I know several friends and family members addicted to carbonated drinks, in particular soda or pop. Some people call it pop. I also know many are addicted to fried foods. Why is it difficult to get rid of these bad foods for many people? Let's try it one more time, folks, okay? Let's make this year, 2019, the year to get rid of all 12 deadly foods, all the bad foods, and most of all, let's make this year, 2019, get rid of your diseases. Let's take the 90-day health recovery challenge, just 90 days. I call this the 90-Day Health Recovery Challenge. That's uh, three months. Hold on a second. Okay, I had to reboot. That one hurt too. Every time I use my brain, it hurts. <laughs> Let's clean out your body, folks. Come on. Let's clean out your body from all the crap that you have been eating since you were born. I'll help you, and I will guide you. I will do everything I can to help you. I will let you know what foods you need to substitute. If you're going to eat pasta, I'll let you know which pasta to buy. I will let you know which crackers, which, which bread you need to buy. Okay, let's do this, folks. This year, 2019, let's get rid of all of your diseases and let's get rid of these foods that you have been eating since you were born. And I guarantee you, you are ready to go to a nice and healthy 2019. Have a safe, disease-free, and a healthy, vibrant 2019. As Mr. Spock would say, live long and prosper. Happy New Year.